Hi, I'm Kale from Melling. Thanks for clicking. In this video, we will review the primary timing chain replacement procedure as well as the balance shaft and water pump chain replacement procedure. With the engine at top dead center, the intake cam timing mark should be around the 2 o'clock position. The exhaust cam alignment mark should be around the 10 o'clock position and the crank sprocket timing mark should be aligned with a mark on the engine block. At this point, I like to break the cam sprocket bolts loose, place a 24 millimeter open end wrench on the camshaft flats and use a ratchet to break the bolts loose. We are just breaking the bolts loose at this point, do not remove them. Now install vice grips on the flats. This will help keep the cams from rotating and aid in the reassembly process. Next we can remove the tensioner and upper chain guide as well as the access plug for the upper guide bolt. Now remove the upper and lower guide bolts, the guide, the tensioner shoe bolt, and the tensioner shoe. both cam sprockets and the timing chain. If we were replacing just the primary timing set, we would be ready to start the assembly process. I always like to replace the balance shaft and water pump timing set since it's right here. Start by removing the tensioner bolts and tensioner, both the upper and lower guide bolts and guides, the timing shoe bolt and shoe, and finally the chain. Now we can start the reassembly process by installing the balance shaft and water pump drive chain. Align the colored links with a mark on the balance shaft sprockets and the crank sprocket. The water pump orientation does not matter. Now install the upper and lower guides and torque the bolts to 106 inch pounds. Next, install the tensioner shoe and torque the bolt to 89 inch pounds. Finally, install the tensioner, torque the bolt to 89 inch pounds. Verify the timing marks with the colored links and release the tensioner. We are now ready to install the primary timing components. Start by installing the tensioner shoe. Now drop the primary timing chain down through the cylinder head and block. I like to start by aligning the timing mark on the cam sprockets with a colored link on the chain. Install the sprockets onto the cams, leaving the new bolts loose so that the sprockets are not locked into the cam locator slots. The cam sprocket bolts are torque to yield bolts and must be replaced anytime they are removed. Align the timing mark on the crank sprocket with a colored link on the chain. Install the timing chain guide and torque the bolt to 106 inch pounds. At this point, we can align the cam sprocket alignment tabs. It may be necessary to rotate the cams with the installed vice grips to get the cams to line up with the alignment tabs. Once they are lined up, push the sprockets back onto the cams and run the bolts down finger tight. Now install the tensioner and torque it to 55 foot-pounds. Depress the tensioner to release it. Remove the vice grips. Using the 24 millimeter open end wrench, hold the cams and torque the sprocket bolts to 63 foot pounds plus 30 degrees. Install the upper timing chain guide and torque the bolts to 89 inch pounds. Remove and replace the timing chain cooling nozzle. Torque the bolt to 89 inch pounds. Install the upper timing chain guide bolt access plug and torque to 55 foot-pounds. Verify the colored links and timing marks are still aligned. This is also a good time to install a new Melling oil pump kit into the timing cover. You are now ready to reassemble the engine. I'm Kale from Melling. Thanks for clicking.